probably heard of bomb dash, bim dash, pim dash, ped mass, something like that. Something that tells you the order of operations. How you decide what you should do first in a mathematical uh, expression. So the B, B represents brackets, so we need to do what's in the brackets first. Now there's a multiply and a plus. What should I do first? Well, the M and the D, that's multiplication and division. So I should do those first. So I need to do 3 times 4 first, which is 12, and then plus 2. And then I'm going to do that plus 1 on the end. And then I can do the 12 plus 2 in brackets, which is 14. And then, finally, there's addition and subtraction on the end. I do that one. 14 plus 1 makes 15. When it comes to solving linear equations, we just flip this around. Welcome to Sad Mob, Sad Mib, Sad Mep, or Sam Dep. My personal favourite is Sad Mob, so that's what we're going to run with. Now, the reason we need this Sad Mob idea is because we have some unknown x, and plus 5 is being added to it, and the answer is going to be 7. Now, you can probably just look at that straight away and know that the answer is 2. But when we get into more difficult problems, you're going to have to come up with a better way of working than just looking at it, because it gets more difficult. So, x plus 5 equals 7, plus 5 was added to it, so we need to get rid of that plus 5. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. Golden rule when it comes to solving linear equations, do the same thing to both sides. Now some people indicate this with like a little negative 5 in brackets over, way over on the right hand side. So x plus 5 equals 7, subtract 5 from both sides. Now I'm going to write it in here as well, x plus 5 minus 5 equals 7 minus 5. And you'll see that these cancel each other out, plus 5 minus 5, we just end up with x on that side, and 7 minus 5 equals 2. Now some people sort of skip this step and jump straight to that step. That's okay, as long as you put this negative 5 over there, you can jump across that step. Some people don't put the negative 5 here, they go to this step and this step, and that's fine as well. Uh, what wouldn't be fine is just jumping to an answer. You've got to show some working. So we have x minus 3 equals 4. Negative 3 minus 3, we're subtracting 3 from x, so we need to do the opposite of that. We need to add 3 to both sides. That's going to look like x minus 3 plus 3, 4 plus 3. We're going to end up with x equals 4. 7. Alright, that's two really straightforward ones. For this next one we have 3x equals 12. This means that 3 is being multiplied by x, or x is being multiplied by 3. Now, we need to get x by itself. How do we get x by itself? We undo the multiply, and the opposite of multiply is divide. So, we're going to divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 equals 12 divided by 3 and x equals 4. Now again, you could choose to skip this step. I guess you could choose to skip this step in the middle, but you can't choose to skip both. You've got to show some working here. Finally, we have x divided by 5 equals 2. Now x is being divided by 5, and we have to undo that, which means that we need to do the opposite of divide by 5, which is multiply by 5. Now take both sides and multiply them by 5, 2 times 5, x divided by 5 times 5 is just x, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now, we've done one of each, a plus, a minus, a multiply, a divide. These are what are called our one-step equations, and it's really the basis for what we're going to move on to, which is two-step and three-step equations. So now we have 3x plus 4 equals 12. And this is where this sad mob idea comes from. Because look what's happening to the x. It's being multiplied by 3, and then we're adding 4. Now, we multiplied first, and then we added 4. To undo all of this, we just do the subtraction and the addition first. So we get rid of the plus 4. This is how we make our decision. Should we do subtraction and addition first? Yes, we should. We'll do division and multiplication afterwards. So, plus 4, minus 4. So 3x plus 4 minus 4 equals 12 minus 4. We remove these here, and we end up with 3x equals 8. Now, how do we get rid of uh, how do we get rid of the 3 there? Well, we have to undo that. 
This is just a one step equation now and we already know how to do one step equations. We divide both sides by 3 3x divided by 3 equals 8 divided by 3 x equals 8 over 3. Now it's perfectly fine to leave the answer like that because that does not simplify. So what about a question like this one? Negative 3 plus x divided by 2 equals 4. Now we need to get rid of the negative 3 and we need to get rid of the positive 2 because we want x to be by itself. But which one should we get rid of first? Sad mob tells us that we should get rid of the subtractions and the additions first. So there's this negative 3 that we should get rid of. We'll do the division after we've done the subtraction. So we need to add 3 to both sides to get rid of this negative 3. Negative 3 plus x over 2 plus 3 equals 4 plus 3. Now again, these cancel each other out. 4 plus 3 is 7 and we're left with x over 2. And now it's a one step equation. x divided by 2 equals 7. We just multiply both sides by 2 x over 2 times 2 equals 7 times 2, 14x. x equals 14. So those were two-step equations. What about this one, our three-step equation? We have 3x plus 4 divided by 7 equals 1. Now, this one is a little bit tricky because according to our rule here, sad mob, it looks like we should get rid of the positive 4 plus sa, subtraction or addition, first. But these lines here, this vinculum, acts like a bracket. So this question actually looks like this. Even though someone didn't put the brackets in there, if you see a vinculum, there is a bracket. It's holding everything together on the top there. So now that we've got our brackets, it means we need to do the thing in brackets last. Brackets is the last thing we do with sad mob. So, is there any addition and subtraction to do that's outside the brackets? No. So the first thing we need to do is this division or multiplication. This divide by 7. So we're going to divide both sides by 7 here. We'll get, oh sorry, we're going to multiply both sides by 7 because that's the opposite of divide. So we get 3x plus 4 divided by 7 times 7 equals 1 times 7. Now those 7s are going to cancel each other out and we'll end up with 3x plus 4 equals 7. And now it's a two-step equation, and now we just do exactly what we did for two-step equations. We subtract 4 from both sides, we get 3x plus 4 minus 4 equals 7 minus 4, which will give us 3. Those 4s will cancel each other out, which is that. And then we divide both sides by 3, and we'll get 3x divided by 3 equals 3 over 3, x equals 1. That is our one-step, two-step, and three-step equations.